Day four of Dominaria previews begin with a big reprint. On the Magic Mike's live podcast last night, the trio of Evan Irwin, Ruben Bressler, and Aaron Campbell revealed that Gilded Lotus will be returning to Standard, with wonderful new art by Vulcan Baga, who has also been responsible for the Magic Online promo versions of the Moxon. While not a reprint, the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel provides another throwback preview with Urgoros the Empty One, a nod to Hypnotic Spectre. An uncommon 4-3 legendary creature Spectre for 4 black black, it has flying and says whenever Urgoros the Empty One deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card at random. If that player can't, you draw a card. The Magic APAC Facebook page revealed an equipment that will be highly sought after by Commander and Brawl players alike. Helm of Hosts is a rare legendary artifact equipment for four mana. It equips for five and says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature. Except the token isn't legendary if equipped creature is legendary. That token gains haste. Magic social media was on a roll yesterday as the official Magic Twitter account introduced a new Oath card. Oath of Teferi is a rare legendary enchantment for three white blue. It says, when Oath of Teferi enters the battlefield, exile another target permanent you control. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. You may activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control twice each turn rather than only once. Also on Twitter today, Trick Jarrett reveals Goblin Chain Whirler, a rare 3-3 Goblin Warrior for triple red. It has first strike and says when Goblin Chain Whirler enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. Over on Hipsters of the Coast, Zach Barish previews a new mythic dragon that does its best impression of a broodmate dragon. Varix Bladewing is a 4-4 mythic legendary dragon for two red red. It has Kicker for three and flying and says, when Varric's Bladewing enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create Karak's Blade Bladewing, a legendary 4-4 red dragon creature token with flying. On the Magic homepage today, Adam Staborski reveals a new option for a five-color commander. Joda Archmage Eternal is a rare 4-3 legendary human wizard for one blue, red, white. It has flying and says, you may pay Wooburg rather than pay the mana cost for spells that you cast. The MTG Mudsta YouTube channel gets another callback to a previous visit to Dominaria. Grand Warlord Rada is a 3-4 legendary elf warrior for two red-green. It has haste and says, whenever one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red and or green. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Finally, Pure MTGO reveals a card that is surprisingly an uncommon. Damping Sphere is an artifact for two. It says if a land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces a colorless mana instead of any other type and amount. Each spell a player casts costs one more to cast for each other spell that player has cast this turn. That's our show for today, April 5th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Noel, and this has been Split Second.